tell us a little bit about your like sexual journey. Yeah. So, okay. Well, being from Texas, like (laughs) if you're from anywhere that's not like, I don't know, New York, Florida, California, you're from like Texas. You saying Texas, Texas, I'm like, oh my God, are you, were you shunned? Like what the fuck? Yeah. Texas is scary. Uh, (laughs) But I don't know. It's just like a very conservative state. Right. And so my whole life, I mean, my parents, I'm lucky to have the parents I have because they're very accepting. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I knew from a pretty young age, but I never really understood the concept of like bisexuality. Like right. I knew there was gay and I knew there was straight, but I never really right. knew about that like in between. And actually the first time I felt like a real connection with a girl um, was someone that was very androgynous. Oh, so okay. I thought like that was like my excuse was like oh she's like androgynous right. so it's not really like like it's it's like kind of like still like a guy but like yeah whatever. like, it, like it, we're... she still kind of looks like a guy so like right. it so doesn't it count sense. yeah right. but um eventually I was just like oh yeah like no you're it's, bisexual yeah yes. first of all I like commend you so much for just being honest and open and like yeah. that must have been I can imagine as much as I'm sitting here like yay go Maggie like <laughs> I'm assuming there were really hard fucking times in your life because as shitty as it is like as much as we have tried to normalize like be whatever the fuck you want to be and own it and love it there's yeah. it's still looked at by some people in the world it's like what what do you mean you're not straight like what yeah. the fuck and that I can't even get into that conversation because it makes me so <laughs> mad but yeah. I think my audience would love to hear like your journey of coming out and like how did you first come out and how did you tell your family and like how did you decide to come out kind of Yeah, so I think I had just turned 18. I'm pretty sure I was, like, newly 18. Mm -hmm. And um, I'd done this shoot with Galore. (laughs) And there was, like, this pillow uh, that said something about, like, like sexuality and not being straight. Yeah. And I literally saw that, and it just felt like such a sign. And I was like – I was just like, okay, I have to do this. So I went home, and I just was, like, sobbing. And I actually (laughs) – texted my parents in a group chat and I was just like this is how it is and I'm I'm fortunate because I wasn't even living with my parents anymore and I and you know I pay my own bills and all that so my I'm like fortunate that I had that like you know I'm not still under their roof right but they were very supportive of it um they were kind of just like yeah like we figured a little bit you know and then when I told my friends the same thing like I just texted them and I was like I don't know if you guys know but I'm about to like do this live stream and tell everyone and I want you guys to know first and literally all my friends were like girl like girl we know we knew we we bitch and we fucking yeah we knew and I was like wow wait what so wait how the fuck did you decide to come out to your parents via text like were you like should I call them should I text them like I feel like that's like kind of a hard moment to be like what the fuck do I do I'm just so bad with confrontation I hate confrontation that makes sense so if I'm gonna confront someone or it's not like well like if I'm gonna like bitch someone out I'm like good at that in person but like when it's something that I'm like yes "Eh." like holding close to you you're like I'm gonna slide this in a text yeah maybe they'll miss the text yeah maybe maybe they they won't even see it you know won't see it but I don't know I just felt like that was did you the best did you think that your parents had any idea like did you think you were about to shock their world or no yeah really and then were you shocked when they were like we kind of knew yeah they were yeah Okay, well, because growing up, my parents were always like, oh, my God, you're so boy crazy. And oh. I was like, ah, <laughs> you're like, oh, I'm and like, okay. girl crazy. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> you're like, wait, mom. Yeah. Um, And then your friends kind of knew. Yeah. Well, yeah, they knew. There's so sure. many things <laughs> happening right now because you just casually are like, and then like I was going to go live and like do it on a live stream. Yeah. So, like, oh, we need to get into that. What the fuck? Like how? Yeah. How did that go down? I don't know. I'm really impulsive. And okay. I think that was definitely an impulse thing because also when I look at that live, it's so embarrassing because I'm no. like crying and no. I'm like I like girls and it's so <laughs> it's just so cringe but it's also like you've got to respect it because like that's where you were in your like yeah that moment of life like when yeah. I look back at myself when I'm like 18 to 20 I'm like so what was I doing like yeah. Alex what are you doing like, what? so I I get you must be like oh my god why the fuck did I so do that but how yeah. what was the response the response was pretty good but I think because I was like so emotional Balling a lot of people <laughs> didn't think it was real like a lot of people oh. were like oh she's just like mocking people or like Shut the fuck just up. didn't think I was being genuine right but like it was like publicity just, yeah but it's literally just because I'm an emotional person right. and and you couldn't help it under pressure I just always am like <laughs> I'm gonna cry like, I'm gonna cry I'm gonna cry I'm gonna <laughs> You're cry like worst comes to worst to start crying yeah <laughs> so the fact that you made the decision to like come out 
on a live like I respect you for that but also fucking terrifying yeah. and like there's obviously I'm sure you've thought about different ways you could have come out but like uh, yeah. once you came out obviously expecting maybe you experienced some type of hate once you came out yeah well again I think I'm really fortunate because I do live in California yeah. and it's just things are just way more accepted here yeah but I also think because I'm like girly girl and yeah. I'm like attracted to like girly girls right, <laughs> so right, right, right. I think there's like it's less of like um a hate thing and more of like I feel like it's very fetish 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 oh, fetish yes yeah and it's that kind of makes me feel uncomfortable okay uh, because like I remember when I came out my ex-boyfriend literally was like oh so does this mean we can have a threesome and I was like, bro, like, you're first like, of all, no, you. <laughs> you're like, first of all, you're my ex. So you're my ex. Like, don't so, text me. So, like, literally get out of my face and, like, <laughs> yeah. you're never having sex with me again. Second of all, fuck yeah, off. Third of all, what? fuck off. Oh, fuck. Yeah. So I, I get, I know, it. that is such a good point. I've never even thought about it like that. Like, guys fetishizing lesbians and yeah. being like, oh, my God, it's so hot. Like, let's see you make out. Like, how do you get the confidence to own your sexuality and not be so in your head that people are judging you because you're bisexual? And can you kind of like walk me through, like, how do you mentally just like be OK with like, oh, yeah, I am bisexual and it's amazing and I love it. And I'm not going to let anyone make me feel a certain way just because of like what society says we should or should not do. Yeah. I mean, I feel like for me, I've definitely owned it, but it does make it hard sometimes like in relationships um with boys or girls like I think sometimes being in a relationship for a long time you feel like you're missing something oh, of like okay. like I see a lot of people talking about this how they'll like be in a relationship with a guy and they'll be just like wanting a girlfriend That's but it's just because when you're attracted to both it's like they both bring different things to the right. table you know has that affected your boyfriends in the past like do, are they insecure about it yeah <laughs> um my ex was definitely insecure about it like just like well my boyfriend now is amazing he's right. so understanding and he's just literally the best but there's been times yeah where like I don't know it's just yeah it's still like oh if you're off like being flirty with a guy it's like oh are you like trying to cheat on me right and it is the same with girls like if right. you're super flirty with a girl sometimes I think it does make guy is like a little insecure because it's like oh is that just like your girlfriend or is that right. like a girl that you're trying to like R talk to and with girls it's especially hard to tell because like right if you're flirty with a guy like yeah, you like, get it you know you get but if you're it. flirty yeah. with a girl like girls are just like that even if yes. you're straight like you when know? you see a girl in the bathroom like it's like are we in love or like are you my best friend or well yeah you get like girls are yeah. just like it's that. just different that is that's extremely challenging i can imagine i think um anyone that's listening to this podcast right now that is like struggling with their sexuality struggling to like come out struggling to be like oh my god are my parents gonna literally disown me like do you have any advice for them that like you've now I know it's like only four years but still that wisdom that you've like kind of gotten over the years yeah I think it's just don't feel pressured to do anything yeah. if if you feel like because I feel like a lot of the times people are like oh you just need to come out and if your parents don't accept you then like fuck it right but if you really feel like there's gonna be a bad outcome and you're not ready for that I really think um you know, you should like consider that and just do what you need to do to right. get by in the moment. Yeah. Um, but I also think that it's really important to own yourself and like be yourself and be authentic. So I just think you need to take the time you need and uh, just really think about it because it is like, you know, it is a big deal to some people. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I just want to rush things. I think that's one thing that that's interesting. I just wish I knew when I was younger that it's not something that I needed to label myself with. And I didn't need to if it's something that I wanted to keep personal, like I could keep right. personal, you know, you didn't I didn't need to need explain. To, yeah. You don't need to explain yourself to anyone, in, including your parents. Honestly, I think if I didn't have a platform, I probably wouldn't have ever came out to my family. That's interesting. Um, I mean, eventually they would have like found out, but I don't think it would have been something that was so dramatic. I right. genuinely think, I think the main reason I wanted to come out so bad was just because I was in LA and I, you know, am like now 18 and I just right. wanted people to know, honestly, yeah. like I wanted to, I didn't want to keep having these like straight relationships and then like 
girls would just not want to talk to me because they thought I was straight. That's literally oh, like the main reason. Wait, that is so fucking interesting. Can I ask you like, so yeah, you kind of have to put out feelers like, wait guys, I'm down to hook up with girls. Yeah, I wait, like, wait, like I don't just like dick. Like I yeah. would love to hook up with you. Yeah. And like, I was going to say like, if people... Have you ever had to like be out and like let, how do you let a girl know? Cause now that I'm thinking about it's it, like so how the fuck weird. would they know? It's so weird. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's like so weird because there are, like I said, like so many straight girls will still like hook up with you right. and then they'll be like, ha, sorry, I'm straight. Like, oh my, is that so annoying? And it's so frustrating. Cause it's like, if you are straight, like, I think that's something that you should definitely tell someone Yeah. like early on. I'm assuming, have you been in situations where you've hooked up with a girl and like, and then she's like, no, 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 that's, I'm, I, that was like, I was drunk and like, we're just, I'm like straight. I was just, it was just doing it for fun. Yeah. Sorry. I'm getting like no, personal. No, it's okay. I think it's people okay. love this. Um, I'm pulling from this one situation specifically. Okay. We were just like friends for a while. Okay. And then she just started making a lot of like comments. Okay. Uh, just like insinuating it. And, um, one night we went out to this club and we just like both got drunk and then right. we just like hooked up and then um and then it was fine and then it just like we just like kept hanging out I, like obviously as friends and right. then we would just like hook up drunk or not drunk right and uh so eventually like I was like oh cool like she's cute you know right. I was like, like okay here we like go. maybe I'll fun. yeah like maybe I'll just try it a little more right. and then it was like, oh, no, she's straight. They're like, oh, no, I'm straight. Like, I just. You're like, yeah. oh, you did. You just black out like the past. Couple I know. I'm we like. Up. Like what? And wait, how did, like, wait, how what? did she bring that up? Like, was she like defensive? Like what happens? in those No, moments? it wasn't. It was just like, oh, no, definitely straight. hundred percent straight. Then you're like, so. So what are you doing? I'm like, oh, OK. It didn't seem like it. But I, oh, okay. I, but like, what can you do? You know, no. You can't, yeah. That, you can't I do mean, anything. That's why it sucks, though, because you're just like. It's not like it's just a person that is right like, does like girls and then they're just like, oh, sorry, I don't like you. Right. It's like, no, I just don't like I'm just not attracted right. to you like that. And it's it's like, so wait. fucked because the amount of like how glamorized I think it is. Like I remember in high school when all the girls were like, let's make out and the yeah. guys are going to think it's so fucking hot. Yeah. And like I will admit I've done that. And I'm like, yeah. when I was in high school, I will never forget like being in my friend's basement. And I'm like, oh, my God, the upperclassmen are here. Like maybe we should make out like that is the yeah. stupidest fucking thing. And it's all it is to get the guy eyes turned on yeah. and then here you are saying like you know like you're hooking up with a girl and then she's like no I'm just straight and then it's like no why the fuck are you hooking up with me yeah like what are you doing yeah that's really frustrating um I can imagine obviously that can get like confusing when you hooked up with your first girl like do you, were you more experienced or was she more experienced uh she was a lot of the girls are you hooking up with like are they bi or are they just lesbian um at first it was just lesbian that's so interesting yeah but there's this weird stigma around like bi girls and like oh, the okay. lesbian community for some reason Wait, what is that it's I like love this, this biphobia it's anything. so weird but a lot of lesbians will not like okay. talk like date or talk to bi girls because um because you also because like you also like guys <laughs> and they're like penises are disgusting yeah the fuck out of our face how dare you yeah. even look at them wow but like i've met i mean the lesbians I know are great. They don't think like yes. that, but I have ran into like people that are like, people oh, that bi. are like that, and they're and they give you, they're, yeah, they're like, oh, you're bi, and I'm like, yeah, and they're like, oh, like, ugh. Wait, that's so interesting. But obviously, that's not the whole community. I don't right, wanna, right, like, right. Bash the whole no, community. no, no, of course not. But um, there are a lot. <laughs> 